in this video we are going to look at how to add spirals to an alignment this is the second video of the series we have seen how to add single spirals to alignment using a uh, floating line option and floating curve option in this we are going to look at how to add reverse spirals and compound spirals here i am going to add the reverse spiral here here i am going to i am using this one but you can use this one also uh, i will tell you both of these first i will go with this option we have a reverse curve now i have a curve here if i feel i want to have a reverse curve my next curve will be going like this so in that case i will have a reverse spiral in the middle so i use this option it is asking me what is the curve to attach i will attach to this curve then it is asking spiral in length so you have two spirals here one spiral for this curve and the other spiral for the next curve we are going to create so spiral in length means the spiral length for this curve i will tell that i will uh, use that spiral length as 25 uh, as i told you earlier uh, you have to use uh, these spiral lengths for from a design guideline you cannot arbitrarily select this length so first one i will use 25 then it is asking the radius of the other curve i will use the radius as uh, 50 meters then it is asking the spiral out length spiral out length means the spiral length connected to the uh, last curve so i will type it as 30 meters then it is asking the through point so i can use whatever the through point i can what i uh, what can uh, whatever the through point i can use so i will click somewhere here so i will get the option here now you can see this length is 25 this length is 30 and this is uh, 50 meter radius here you can see the radius is 50 meter so that is how to uh, add the reverse curve with reverse spirals again i will show you the other option also reverse curve with uh, spirals from curve two points so i will go with this one so it is asking which entity to attach i will attach to this entity then it is asking spiral in length i will tell spiral in length is 25 and out length is uh 20 let us say so it is asking two points where my curves will pass through so if it is a reverse curve my other curve will be like this so i have to select two points in that direction first i will select somewhere here and then i will select somewhere here so it will uh give you the options now where i can have the curve in this case uh, you can create another spiral here you can see my 25 meter and 30 meter spirals have been added and if i go here my radius is 46.672 uh, so in this case what the difference here is you cannot give the radius you instead of the radius you are giving two points where the curve goes through so that is how to add a uh, spiral curve or reverse spiral curve with reverse spirals next we will see how to add free spiral curve spiral between two entities so to do that i need another entity because from here i need to have two entities here i have the curve but here i need to have another curve before adding this one uh, so i will actually not a curve but you have a line or a curve let us say we will have a line now we are going to add another spiral uh, we are going to check another spiral option it is this one free spiral curve spiral option uh, here you can see i have 
the previous alignment continued and I have added one more entity here align section because if I am using this option you have to have two entities this spiral curve spiral option will be added between two entities in this case I am using I will be adding this curve which spirals from this curve to this tangent so I am going with that option first it is asking me the first entity to, to attach I will select this my curve and then the next entity I will select this tangent and it's asking for the uh, curve solution it is less than 180 and it is asking for the radius of the curve I will say it is 80 meters and it is asking spiral in length this spiral length between the curve and the uh, between two curves so I will type it as 20 and you can say directly it entered into the uh, alignment then it is asking the spiral out length that means the spiral length here I type this one also as 20 so you can see now my uh, free spiral between two entities created smoothly so that is how to add a free spiral between two entities with a curve uh, this is the option we check actually this option is free spiral curve spiral option right next we will see how to add this one free compound curve spiral spiral between two tangents that will be in the next video